In this video I'd like to show you the custom development management cockpit and I'd like to show you the upgrade and change impact analysis project. So here's one that I prepared earlier so we'll just wait for this guy to fire up. It's a workflow so these are all the steps that I've run previously. I'm going to show you the results. I'm going to have a look at uh, results by development class. Uh, in this case I'm going to pick all my development classes and I'll wait for the result to be shown. So while we're waiting uh, I'll just explain to you how the upgrade and change impact analysis looks. So Solution Manager does the number crunching. We're going to take the statistics, the usage statistics from production. We're going to take a non-upgraded system uh, as a comparison and then we're going to compare it to an upgraded system. So in my case, the sand pit is at enhancement pack 6. The test or the dev system is at enhancement pack 4, as is the production system. From an advanced uh, running perspective, if you're not in a position to upgrade to enhancement pack 6, there is an opportunity to grab the upgraded repository from SAP if you raise an, an SAP note uh, and ask for reference base content back to the system. This is a result from the upgrade and change impact analysis. So the first thing I want to do, I want to sort by the severity uh, of the impact. So I'm going to look at all the red ones. Uh, and then, So these are the things which are going to break when Enhancement Pack 6 comes into my landscape. And then I want to have a look at uh, the usage count. So really I should put a filter on uh, to get all the red ones and then sort this one to have a look at the ones which are used the most and the intersection of the two these are the guys that I go after first so this particular guy uh, the ZPPAR 032 termination details he's got a red light he's not going to work when we get the enhancement pack 6 uh, in our landscape just having a look at the reason why if I scroll down to the red light over here uh, we've got some table field attributes for the table 5 QSC have changed which will uh, make this guy fail a syntax check when you when you take the um, enhancement pack. Alright, so the second view I want to show is if I take the detailed view. Now again, I'm going to have a look at um, all the, the guys in red uh, in the system, so these are the, the heavy impact. And if you cast your eye down here, um, SAP sometimes takes away function modules or takes away fields or in some, some cases takes away domains or structures during an enhancement pack upgrade. So in this case, uh, the pop-up to confirm step and the GUI create uh, function, function groups or function modules have disappeared with enhancement pack 6. So this POIT um, software, this function group, will no longer work. Right? So why do we run the upgrade change impact analysis? That's to tell us the impact of enhancement pack 6 on the system, on the development system, before we actually take the upgrade in dev. So it allows the developers to get on top of uh, the repository and start working a couple of things out. So here you can um, start progressing through some of the uh, red lights um, and as you put them in progress you can actually complete them and, and sort them out and monitor the status uh, on these screens. So I whizzed through it very quickly so there's a number of uh, different options to have a look through here so we can have a look at you know the count of, of authorization objects um, the number of transports coming through um, you can you can start putting some comments in as, as you fix these things up um, it's uh, nice and easy to use it allows you to do some remote comparison uh, send notification to developers to, to get on top of them and then start running some uh, extended syntax checks for some of the objects as you fix them so this has been the custom development management cockpit or the CDMC and the project type is the Upgrade Change Impact Analysis or the UCIA. Thanks for listening.